Hello? Hello? Hi. Yeah? Hi. What? I, don't, I kind of don't want to talk to you. Why? I just kind of don't want to talk to you. You kind of what? I kind of don't want to talk to you. Are you mad at me for some reason? No, I just want to see you in person. You want to see me in person? Okay. Um, well, can you write me a letter? I just want to see you in person, though. Well, I want to see you in person, too, but I'd rather talk to you on the phone than not have any communication at all with you. Would you rather not have any communication at all with me, or would you rather talk? I'm, I'm trying to... To, to get to see you in person. I've got to wait. I there. hate talking to you on the phone. What? I just hate talking to you on the phone. I hate talking to you on the phone, too, but I'd rather talk to you on the phone than not talk to you at all. I don't want to talk to you at all. I can only um, talk to you in person once a month rather than uh, only having phone calls every single day. It's not every single day. I, I, you t I've known you don't like the phone calls because it's for, I, I just want to hang up. There's nothing for me to talk about to you. Well, what would you be talking about to me if you were in person with me? Would you have anything to talk to me about in person? I got your yeah. colors for last week, by the way. You never did tell me yeah. about field day. Yes. What? Yes. I do have something to talk to you about. Okay, talk to me about it. My dog jumped into the pool at the nature center. Your dog jumped into the pool at the nature center? The um, tennis pool. She's going to Into the, into the what? The tadpole pool. The tadpole pool, where we got tadpoles. Did um, uh, your dad take, take you there to the nature center? Yeah. He's taking you lots of places now, isn't he? <laughs> Hasn't he taken you lots of places lately? Are you, Delara? Has what? Webbed feet? Like a duck? I got. Has webbed feet like a duck? Yeah. So, are you supposed to let your dog swim in the tadpole pond? No, she just, um, she, um, she accidentally let go of the leash. Oh, did she get, did she get back in? Did did she was she scared or you know she if she's been if you've been letting her swim at the river, she probably thought it was going to be okay if you if she got to the tap. No, 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 no. I think she thought that it was really shallow. Well, it is. Because I she expect, expected. It. it was more shallow or less shallow than you think she expected. Less shallow. Well, did she get out real quick? Did she get out real quick, or did she stay in and swim a long time? Hello? Are you still there? Hello? Okay. I'm not getting anything. We hang up and call her back. I couldn't hear you. Could you hear me? Yeah. You you could hear me? I couldn't hear you. That's what because I thought the connection went bad, so I hung up to, so I could call you back so we could hear each other.
What, what was the last thing you heard me say? I, will, I won't ever hang up on you, Delara. You should know me better than that. Can you hear me now? I never hung up on you. I never hung up on you. Uh, I, could, what was the last thing you heard me say? Hello? Well, if, if you don't say anything, then that makes me think the connection's bad, and that makes me think I need to call you back. Can you say something? When you don't, when I don't hear you say anything, it makes me feel like the call dropped, and you can't hear me, and I have to call you back. Yeah? Can you hear me? Uh, what? You can't hear me? Are you there? I'm here. What? You can't hear me say I, I am here. What? Alright. Alright. If you don't want to talk to me, you can hang the phone up. I'm not going to hang the phone up on you. Yes. Turn your volume up. It's all the way up. Well, then why can't you hear me? I can barely hear you. Well, you don't. Okay. Um, do you think that if you refuse to talk to me on the phone, then you'll get to see me in person? Well, they're supposed to be setting up another visit sometime. So, but but you'd rather not. You'd rather have no contact with me at all than to have telephone contact. What? You would rather have no contact at all with me than to only have contact on the telephone. Is that what you said? Okay, well, I need to understand what you're saying then. Say it again. I said, I'd rather only see you once a month rather than talking to you on the phone every day. Oh, okay. Okay. Rather see me in person so I can give you all those hugs and kisses in person. Instead of, instead of having eight telephone calls where we can't even understand each other, You'd rather see me one time and get hugs and kisses and talk to me in person. No, not one time. Once a month. Once a month is better than eight phone calls a month. Yeah. What about seeing me every day and getting hugs and kisses every day like you used to get? How would that be? Perfect, but I want to be with my dad sometimes. Well... That would be perfect. How about if, how about, do you think I would keep you from seeing your dad if you saw me every day? Did you forget what the old schedule was where you saw me, the only days you didn't see your dad was Sunday and Monday? You saw me seven days a week and you saw him five days a week. And you never had to miss him because you saw him almost every day. There was only two days you didn't see him. And then on those two days you didn't see him, you could have called him on the phone or you could have seen him if you wanted to and if he had been available. Did you, did you forget the old, old schedule we used to be on and you spent four nights with me and three nights with your dad? That would, I think that's perfect because then you get to see both of us as much as you possibly can every day in person. So, but while you're waiting, while you're waiting, you want to, do you want to just say, um, you don't care to, uh, to have any phone calls because I don't have a choice. It's either it's either seeing you. Uh, I mean, you, you should be seeing me every day, or, but because I don't I don't like talking on the phone to any of my kids. I just don't like talking on the phone. I like to see them in person or or even my mom, even my own mom. I don't like talking to her on the phone because I can't understand her, but I don't get to see her. But once a year or so, so uh, it's it is good to hear her voice and see her picture. 
And she's on Facebook, and we chat back and forth. You want me to sing you a song? What? Do you want me to sing you a song? I thought you said, do you want me to sing the song? Do you want me to sing you a song? What's your favorite song now? Like if you would, do you listen to the radio in your dad's car? How was what was your color today? Do you know? What? What color did you get today? Did you get one yesterday? Yeah. What color was yesterday? Yellow. For what? Okay, guess what? What? Since I was late to school. You were late to school? Yeah. And guess what Miss Jensen told me to do? What did she tell you to do? Practice presenting my uh, work to wall. Practice presenting your work to a wall? Yes. Yeah. Is that like standing in the corner? Yeah. Uh, so, were you, is this like an oral presentation? Are you practicing doing an oral presentation and you're supposed to uh, speak out loud? Was it, did you, was it a punishment? No. Yeah. And guess what? What? So, are you giving a speech? Is that what you're supposed to be practicing, giving a speech? Yeah, but everyone else had a partner but me. That's why you had to talk to the wall? Oh, Dad. I mean, Mom. What? Everyone else had a partner to present to but me. And I said, is that why you presented it to the wall? Did you, could you and Miss Jensen was telling me, well, you have to present to the wall, sorry. And I kept on telling her, why can't I get a partner by the other, with the other classmates? And she said, no, you have to talk to the wall. And then I kept on, and then we had an argument, and then I walked out of the classroom. Um, well, to me, I would, uh, so she never gave you an explanation as to why you were the only one in the classroom that didn't have a partner? She could have been your partner, couldn't she? Oh, but guess what? What? There are a few extra partners in the classroom. They were other people who weren't presenting? They didn't have... No, there were extra partners in the classroom. Other kids that didn't have a partner. Then, and, and were they people that you could have worked... So you were, your question was, why didn't they put you in a group with an odd, amount, an odd amount of kids instead of making you talk to the wall by yourself? Yeah. Well, you know, I've only got one side of the story, but if I were you, I think I would feel the same way you felt. You felt, I, I would feel that, did, did you feel like it wasn't fair? Yes. Yeah. That's how I, I would feel. Real. Well, okay. Um... What about your tent? Oh, I, t I took the tent home. So there's no tent anymore? Nope. If the tent was in your room, would you be using it, or would you still be walking out of the room? I would still be walking out of the room. Did you go to the office and talk to uh, Miss Getz about what happened? You had a 
had a side a side ache and a headache. Uh huh. And Miss Yet said maybe soon you'll get your period. Yeah. And we already talked about that, right? Yeah. Shania, Shania's mom yesterday had a kidney stone, and uh, so, so Shania's mom was on this medicine, and she was. I had to. Somebody else had to give her a ride to the uh, from back home from the hospital, but I went and got her medicine and got her some food and checked on her. And Shania called her and was upset because last night there was supposed to be a meeting where girls' moms are supposed to take them to this meeting to talk about periods and stuff like that. And Shania's Shania was upset because her mom couldn't go. I know what periods are. I know. So my my back used to hurt with my periods. It would be my back or my stomach. And guess what Miss Yet said? What? Only girl what goes through periods. Not boy. That's right. It's not fair. It's not fair. Well boys have enough problems of their own. Boys they have way more problems. But boys have it's does it doesn't matter. Boys have just as many problems as girls do. They're just different. They're just different. Nobody's better than anybody else, or has. If they just have different kinds of problems. But it's it's you only have periods because it's the it's the girls who have babies, and it's your periods are related to having babies. Well, I know, but your every God makes everybody's body in the same way, unless unless there's something you know that you got a birth defect or something, and you really want your body to work the way it's supposed to because you're, you want your hormones to be good, and uh, you know some people have, but but I think you'll be healthy and um, so what do you do you have? Products at home, and in, in when if you start your period at your dad's house, does your dad have pads for you to use? No. Nope. You're gonna have to start wearing underwear. I know, but guess what? What? Miss Carter said if I ever need any help with pads, um, she I can come to her room because she has some extra pads. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's nice, but uh, you you tell you need to tell your dad he needs to go shopping and get you some pads so you'll have them. Uh, in case you are you have your period when you're at his house and your Miss Clark's not available. So did did your did uh, well, guess what? Guess what? What? I'm gonna go shopping with my sister this weekend and maybe I can start talking with her. Yep, maybe you can, but I don't. I don't. I. I doubt that you're starting your period. If you start your period this early, I would think there's something. Well, I wouldn't. I don't know. You just you just don't know. Some people start earlier than others. And, um, when do you start your period? What? When do you start your period? Like 12, 13, 14 is the average time. But my grandmother, I think my grandmother was nine. But that's kind of, I know some nine-year-olds. Hey, hey, when did you get your period? I was around 12 or 13. I wasn't nine. Not necessarily. Not necessarily because you got acne, really bad acne, years before. Uh, anybody, any, any of my other kids did. And Noah, Noah got, uh, he got a beard earlier than his dad did. Noah, uh, and, and they, they say that there's stuff in people's food that makes, that they think might make girls get their periods earlier, but, um, Yeah. So do you know what do you know all about sexual reproduction and and periods? Yeah. Huh? Wait, what do you say? All about the sexual reproduction. And and puberty. 
and the changes boys go through and the changes girls through, go through and and stuff like that. Hello? Hello. 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 And then falling in love and wanting to get married and wanting to have babies and getting pregnant. I don't want to have a baby. You better stay away from boys then. And we'll see if you change your mind in another 10 or years or 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 years. I don't want a baby. I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't want to have a baby. I mean, I, when I was your age, I couldn't wait to have a baby. I was, I was all about practicing to be a mom and having my baby dolls. And I actually did. Yeah. I, but, I, but I had actual babies I was taking care of when I was your age because I had younger brothers. Mom. What? Do you still have your period? Yes. I should be stopping sometime soon, but I haven't stopped. That's not normal. What do you mean it's not normal? Your period is going longer than anyone that I've known. No, it's not. Well, who, how many how many women do you go around and ask? Are you still having periods? How old are you? How many, I, I think that might be inappropriate if you went around asking everybody that. So every, every woman you have ever known, you probably haven't asked that question to. It's not, it's not out of normal. It's not, it's, there's nothing wrong with that. Some people stop, uh, some people never have periods. Some people, uh, like Melissa, she, my friend Melissa, she had, she was about 40 when she had Madeline, and her periods didn't start back after she had Madeline. I've got another friend who had a, a, migra a really bad migraine, and she had a stroke, and it, it damaged part of her brain, and uh, she never had periods after that. There's lots of reasons why w women start their periods uh, or stop them sooner than others, but I, it, don't worry about me. Are you worried about me? Yes. Why are you worried about me? Because I don't like periods. You don't like periods? So you I don't, don't like Mr. Period. Well, I don't much like them either, but you're, you're just getting started having yours, and I'm probably getting started to not have mine. I went three months without having a period, and I thought I was not going to have any more, and then, and then all of a sudden I had one last month. I haven't had one this month, so I think, I think my body is starting to decide it's not going to have any more babies. It's really not don't fair. Don't have any more babies. Huh? Don't have any more babies. Why? Because I just don't want you to. Why? I want to be the youngest in the family. Why? Because. Why? You're, you're almost like an only child. You are your dad's only child. I wish people were like rabbits. Because rabbits, ra female rabbits don't have periods. They just, their bodies just get ready to have babies whenever they're ready, you know, when they've got a mate. And then, then they, then they can, they don't have to be ready every month like women are. God made different animals different ways. So, um, well, what, what, how did it end up at school after with, with Miss Jensen? Did you ever end up practicing? You could have practiced your speech with Miss Getz. Hello. Hello. All right, we've only got five more minutes, and then we're hanging up. Can you talk to me for five oh, more minutes? I love you so much. You know. I love you. Another galaxy. 
and another galaxy, 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 and another galaxy. Back. And back. Okay, listen to me. If you want to see me, um, if you want to see me, I think you want to see me every day like you used to, because I, I, that's, that's when things were best. So, um, but if the phone calls aren't, aren't doing anything for you, and you want to see me more in person, uh, you need, you need to be telling people that. You need to, in the, because I'm telling people that, nobody's listening, and, uh, if you could tell Jessica, who else do you talk to? Do you still have a center stone counselor? Delara? Yeah. Your, your center stone counselor, who you're seeing instead of Dr. Berryman. Who is she? Uh, it's either Jessica or Natalie. It's not Jessica. Jessica's the Youth Villages lady. I, to I told you I talked to her last week. Okay, then it's Natalie. Natalie, do you like her? No, she's crap. She's crap? Why? What's crap about her? She's terrible. What's terrible about her? She's mean. She won't let me call my um, dad when I'm having trouble. Why Why were you having trouble? What kind of, you were, you were, were you upset while you were meeting with her? Hello? Hello? Why, why were you having trouble? What kind of trouble were you having? I just felt um, upset, and I wanted to call my dad, but she didn't let me. Well, she was uh, why, did she give you any reason why? No. Well, do you think you can get, well, talk, you like Jessica, though, so talk to Jessica a lot. And maybe Jessica can talk to the Centerstone counselor, and maybe she can help the Centerstone counselor be nicer to you. Because if the Centerstone counselor is supposed to be helping you with your feelings, you need to feel like you're being res that she respects your feelings. And I, I think you don't need all these. I, you wouldn't need all these therapists if you had your mom, because I, I, uh, I wouldn't. Tr I wouldn't be crap for you. I would. I would. Uh, when you're upset, I try to figure out how to handle it, and but I don't want. My question is, why are you upset? What? 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 No, it's not. Who says it's time to hang up? Hello. We still got over a minute and a half. I'm watching the clock here. Are you still there? Delara? Did, did your dad tell you it was time to hang up? No. Huh? No. Well, it's not. Has he, has, has he been listening to the phone call? Yeah. He has? Yeah. He's in the same room with you listening to the phone call? The whole time? Yeah. Well, he's not supposed to. Is that why you don't want to talk to me? Laura? So you went, you went to where your dad is. He didn't come to where you are. Yeah. But you don't like talking on the phone anyway. You'd rather see me in person. So you don't you don't care if your dad if your dad's listening or not. You just don't want. I don't like talking on the phone to you either, Delara. It's just like. Uh, uh, but I'm glad you told me about. Uh, you did actually tell me some good things, and I I hope that you and and your. Uh, 
Centerstone counselor will, uh, and your teacher, I hope people will be more considerate of your feelings, but I'm going to try to find out uh, the other side of the story about why. Do you want me to call, ask Miss Jensen why she wouldn't give you a partner? Well, guess what? What? It could have was late. Um, late, late in the morning? I'm listening. Oh, you see, everyone else already did talking to the wall. And now they're um, having partners. Oh, I see. I see. So the problem but was. I didn't get. I wasn't. I was at the same okay. time. Okay. Right, well, so, what? Uh, also, guess what? What? Uh, but I feel like um, she should have just let me have, have a partner so I don't feel like the odd one out. Well, well, why were. Why, why, yeah. Why were you late? That's the problem. If you were on time, you might have had a partner. Why were you late? Do you know? Did you oversleep? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I'll respect that. I'll respect that. Okay. It's, it is time to go, so tell me how much you love me, and I'll... I don't, I, I don't think I'll see you this week, but I'll talk to you Sunday, okay? I love you. I miss you, and I want to see you every day again, and your dad to be able to see you at any time he wants to see you, too. And I want you to be, meet Boa. Boa? Boa. Oh, Noah. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to see Noah tomorrow or Thursday. Bella. Bella. Oh, okay. Well, you better get her phone number for, for uh... Maybe. Well, that's not, she phone number. Oh, well, give her mine and have her mom call me, and maybe sometime this summer we can get together. But yeah, but no, I, I didn't do Mother's Day because y'all took up Mother's Day. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see Callie and Noah maybe tomorrow or Thursday. We'll see them together. But you did tell me happy, birth, happy Mother's Day, and that made me happy. I love you. I love you so much. I love you so much. Miss you so much. Every minute I think about you. No matter how long it is before I see you again, I'll love you just as much as I ever did. Even if I didn't see you for 50 years, I'd still love you as much as I love you today, and I'd hug you and kiss you over and over again. Be good for your dad. And be good at school, and, and uh, talk to your counselors, and and uh, keep yourself safe, and keep everybody else safe, okay? Use your words, and I hope you have a good rest of your week at school. I love you. Oh, it says 28 minutes. It says I, it says I got two minutes left on my phone. Oh, I called you back though, because yeah. So we we are we're done with our time. You hanging up? Hanging up the phone, Delara. I think she forgot to hang up. I'm gonna hang up. I don't think she's there. There she went. That finally hung up.